On behalf of myself and Curtis, we would like to welcome you. And I'd like to read with you a quote from President John F. Kennedy. And he says, art is to nourish the roots of our culture. Society must set the artist free to follow his vision wherever it takes him. We must never forget that art is not a form of propaganda. It is a form of truth. Today we will witness the setting of our art free after 2.5 years of being in lockdown. First thought about coming here, I didn't know all of y'all were going to show up. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad you're here, and I think we're going to have a really great time here this evening. This is Quaker of DC. He's also called Mr. Blues. Okay, you, he has a couple CDs out and he's a beautiful singer. But tonight he's going to start us off in the libation for this Kwanzaa celebration. Thank you. I want everybody to rise, those who can stand up. You can't, don't worry. A thousand years old. Who built it? You're right. We did. How come you don't know it? What do you say? <laughs> oh, say I don't have much time, so keep me, brother, keep me focused. <laughs> also, this is a happy time. Put a smile on your face. Let the good times roll. Forget about all that negative stuff. Business economics, do find out what you can do to money. Don't put it in the bank if you can't get no money. Because they're using our money to do what they want to do and kicking us out. What we say to that, that's going to be a change. I say what? I say. All right. I want you to love everybody. Love yourself especially. Love your kids. Love your grandmother. Love your grandfather. Love your uncle. Go back and say hello to them. Call them up on the phone. Don't text them. <laughs> I get that myself. So I'm saying I'm tired of it. Call me. If you can't say nothing, don't call. What do we say to that? Hey. And the other thing is, let's be happy. Let's be joyous. Don't walk down like the head of the ground. Look up. The creator's up there. It ain't down here. Look up and smile. The sun. Get some sunlight. We scared to go in the sun. Don't go to the beaches. Why? I don't want to get no blacker. Black is beautiful. Everybody else in the sun. Get some sun because it, it, it creates the melanin in your body. Because everybody yeah. born in What do we say? I say. say. And if you feel if you're a singer or a dancer, express yourself. Be who you are. Be happy. Do this every day. Young folks, stop moaning and complaining. What you don't have, build it. Mm. What do we say? I say. 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 How much time I got broke out? I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this. Raise your hand and ball your fist. We're gonna say this seven times. A run, baby. A run, baby. When you do it, pull your fist down. All right, you ready? A run, baby. A run, baby.
he talked about us playing tennis together. One time we went over to Mount Pleasant to play tennis with our tennis team. We have we have an all black tennis club too. And we went into Mount Pleasant in these beautiful courts and we brought drums. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We, we won the match that day. Okay? You understand that? He's also a poet. He's going to do a rendition right after me of the last poets. Okay. Oh, yeah. How many people know the last poets? Yeah. Oh, you want to get a piece oh, of heaven yeah. right now. Okay, and the last one here is Peter Kersese. He has his djembe, and he also has the oodle drum. Uh -huh. This actually, from what I used to play with the oodle player, they call it the magical drum made by women. Yeah, when we go down the river, get the clay and put that drum together. It's like for a while things have been separate. Men could play this and women could play that. But now the divineness has come into our consciousness so that now we can bring our spirit to all the instruments that we have in our hand. Okay. And uh, I got another musician, Baptist musician, the singer, Mike Sands. Mike, could you stand up and give him? Wait until you hear his voice. Right now, you're going to hear my voice. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, me, yeah, me, yeah, me, yeah, me, yeah, you, yeah, you. Blues is as old as my soul and soul. 
I sang the blues when the missionaries came, passing out Bibles in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. I sang the blues in the hull of the ship, beneath the sting of slave masters' work. I sang the blues when that ship I could hear and got my family being sold on slave block. I sang the blues being torn from my firstborn, hang my head and cry when my wife took his life and then she committed suicide. <laughs> I sang the blues in the cotton field, hustling to make the daily yield. I sang the blues from sun up to sun down, cussing the master when he wasn't around. I sang the blues when he forced my woman to bed. Lord knows I wish she was dead. I sang the blues in the plantation, helping him build his free nation. I sang the blues on the run, ducking the dog, dodging the gun. I sang the blues hanging from the tree in a desperate attempt to break free. I sang the blues black, I sang the blues blacker, and now I'm singing my blues blackness. Thank you. And this is the only time that I was stopped by the cops. But I had made up my mind to go back to Philadelphia. And when the cop stopped me, he looked at my bag and he looked at my writing. And he said, you wrote this? I said, yeah. He threw it on the ground. He said, go, faggot, threw it on the ground. OK? And then I understand, I understood us before us as especially black males, that the most dangerous thing we got on us is our mind and our spirit. And it's, it was like I had just walked past a trap. Because he would have loved me if I was a criminal. <laughs> I remained a criminal. He would have held on me to, for, for life. <laughs> anyway, so for me, that's where the, the poem generates from. It is maximum freedom. And nobody, to me, does it. I tend to better than Yvette Mary. I first saw her out on, at Mosquito Beach. I was about Mosquito Beach. <laughs> and I was just captivated by her work. So I want to bring her up. Yvette R. Murray, please come up. Let 
blood memory guides you back to purple mindscape, then you will not eat dirt. Drink sassafras, sassafras strong horse tea. Mm -hmm. Be a midwife or potter. Sow sweet grass and build strong mountains again. Come back. This your home.
I do with you is a little bit different. You know, I do some traditional Arabic music, and Middle Eastern music, and North African music for sure. But we also do some fusion as well, uh, jazz and blues and funk and everything else. Dean Cortez is going to join me on this tune. This is a tune we're going to play. It's written by Mungo Santa Maria. We chose this because, uh, you know, the African uh, diaspora is so, so large and so covers so many places. Uh, you know, Mungo Santa Maria was Cuban, but African origin. And then this tune was made more famous by John Coltrane. So... We'll start with a start with a North African form called the taksim. Uh, it, like a lot of words, you know, probably in African language, certainly in Arabic, you know, anavachtiyarbishwer. Speak a little Arabic, but in, in uh, like a lot of words, there's no direct translation to English. So a taksim is a solo, but it really means more than a solo. It means a solo from the heart, from the soul.
me, lyrics are simply poetry set to music. If you took everybody's poetry and put it to music, it would be lyrics. So these are the lyrics of the Ballad of Sad Young Men. Uh, I first and last heard it sung by Roberta Flack. I am no Roberta Flack, but who is? <laughs> Sing a song of sad young men, glasses full of rye. All the news is bad again. Kiss your dreams goodbye. All the sad young men. Really didn't tell them to do it. <laughs> Sitting in the bar, knowing the young nights, missing all the stars, all the sad young men drifting through the town, drinking up the night, trying not to drown. All the sad young men singing in the cold, trying to forget they are growing old. All the sad young men choking on their youth, trying to be brave. Running from the truth. <coughs> Autumn turns the leaves to gold. Slowly dies the heart. Sad young men are growing old. That's the cruelest part. All the sad young men seek a sudden smile, someone they can hold for just a little while. Tired little girl, she does the best that she can. Trying to be brave for a sad young man while a grimy moon blossoms up above. All the sad young men they play.
Okay, so we're all going to do the redemption song, Bob Marley's fantastic song. And Carlos going to lead us. But I'm hoping that everybody falls in and sing your hearts out. Just let it all come out. Everybody welcome. And Carlo, Peter Kafuri, Albert Anderson, Vincent Smith, and Peter Cortese. Amen. Okay, this is how this works. <laughs> when I asked Brother Lampkin about it, he said, yes, it's going to be a wreck. <laughs> we are not going to do that. We are not going to wreck this. Um, if you can sing more of the song, go ahead and sing it. But when you hear me say, because all I ever have, redemption song. I'll say, say it again. Redemption song. I might say that 12 times. Redemption song. Right, right. I think we got it now. <laughs> Arrangement is by Alva Anderson. <laughs> really? My voice has changed. <laughs> That's what happens when you put a jive chick singer up here with some real musicians. Oh, oh pirates, yes they rather so I to the merchant ships minutes after they took I from the bottomless pit. But my hand was made strong by the hand of the Almighty. We forward in this generation triumphantly. Won't you help me sing these songs of freedom? Is all I ever had. Redemption song. Say it again. Redemption song. Emancipate yourselves from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our minds. Have no fear for atomic energy. Cause none of them Stop the time. How long shall they kill our prophets while we stand aside and look? Some say it's just a part of it. We've got to fulfill the book. Won't you help me sing these songs of freedom? Stop. 